Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and today we're going to have a look at pages and we're going to be making up some tables of contents and making the pages look good using headers and subheaders and it's all going to look marvellous. So on this one here I've got it set up so that it is a fixed layout, it's not reflowable and because it is flowable it means I can have some page numbers in the footers down there. If you make one and it's reflowable then you don't get any headers or footers. And at the moment it's all sort of fairly sort of uh, simple. I didn't put any footers into this one here or any headers. But I put a footer into this front matter part of the book here. And I haven't put in a table of contents yet. Okay, so that's a uh, book which is done with the uh, fixed layout. Let's close that down. Now let's go into this and start making some changes to it. So first of all, maybe what we want to do is to go into this one here and make our chapters. Um, maybe have them a different colour, so let's select that, go to style, choose a colour, let's put a blue in there, and in the uh, headers, I've got headers and subheaders, in the headers we can put that in as a, um, let's just to show that it's a different colour easily, put it in red, and we'll go into layout, and we'll give it a uh, border or a ruler underneath it, just to show that it's looking different. And then this one here, this is the subheader. And in the subheader, we'll put it so that it is a different colour again. So we're going to change that. Let's put a green in there. At the moment, it's still showing the wrong colour here. So this one here is chapter two, and it's a chapter. And this one here, I need to update this so that it's going to be uh, the same throughout. So let's update that. Now, if I go to the rest of my chapters, they're all looking the same. So the same blue colour there. And I'd need to do that again with the um, headers. Click on update and get it to be the same. And then I'd need to do the same with the subheaders. And the subheaders at the moment is uh, they're in green. Update that as well. So let's update that. So we know that all our uh, chapter headings, our headers and our subheadings, they're all styled as they should be. Now what we want to do is let's export this out to books as an EPUB. So let's go to this one here, export, go to EPUB and we'll have a reflowable and we're going to use table of contents in this one here. The previous one didn't use table of contents so it didn't come up with table of contents and we'll click on next and it's going to ask us where to put it. I like to put in a tag in there so it's a test so I know that I can find those at the later stage and delete them all quick and easily. So let's go to export and as you see headers and footers aren't supported and were removed. So let's go to OK. Let's uh, double click on this here, bring it into the books application. And if you're finding these tutorials entertaining, useful or whatever, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And as you can see already, it's looking a bit different here with the way that it's laid out in the book. We still don't have a table of contents on the contents page because we didn't set that up yet. We don't have any table of contents within the Books app yet either because we didn't set that up either. So we're going to have to go back into our Pages app and do some more setting up. But at least the book is looking okay with the colours of the chapters and the headers and the subheaders. Now the reason we didn't get a table of contents coming in there is because we need to go to our view here and click on Table of Contents. At the moment it's not set up because we haven't set up any paragraph styles to use as our table of contents. So let's go back into this here and we'll use chapter and we'll use header and we'll use subheader. So that's that done. And also what we're going to do to make it look a bit better is we're going to put an indent into this one here and we'll go to the subheader and we'll indent that in from the headers. So let's go back into this here again and do an export to. We'll go to EPUBs. And again, we're using table of contents and we're using the reflowable. We use the first page of the book cover image and we'll click on next. And I'm going to click on export. And we still haven't got headers and footing there because it's reflowable. Let's go to test book two. Double click on that, bring it up so it opens. And as you see, this time we've got a table of contents. And then we get through this here and we've got all the uh, table of contents available to us. We might not have any contents on our contents page, but we do have the contents available through the Apple Books app and we can get to where we need to within that application. So maybe we don't need to put a page of contents in there if you're going to be sending it to the Apple Books app. 
but at the same time it is good to have a set of contents in there and you'll see why when we've set it up so let's move on and we're going to go to our contents page and at the moment we haven't got anything there but if we click on insert table of contents it generates a table of contents and there we go go back to uh, views page thumbnails and this here is a section all the way down through page to page four and then this here is another section and when we put in the table of contents what it did is it sort of moved that it put in a page break as well and we don't need a page break so let's go to view and we'll go to show layout and we'll go to show invisibles and in the layout you can see we've got the headers and footers in there okay so let's go to this one here and what I want to do is I want to get rid of this page break here so I do uh, function and backspace so that clears that up this one here I've got uh, an extra page break in there that I don't need as well so we can uh, clear that out out of the way as well okay so uh, now it's looking a bit tidier and we've got a set of contents here now what we can do with this set of contents is we can change it so that it uh, looks a bit better so we've got uh, contents there so as soon as we have blue text for the chapter headings let's put some blue text for the chapter headings in the table of contents and we'll also bold that as well and then we go for the headers I've selected the headers there as you can see and we can have those there so these are red and then for this one here we've got it set up so that these ones are green in the text it's just so you've got red there for the um, headers look and then in this one here we've got uh, green for the subheaders so let's go back up to this here select our subheaders and in our subheaders we want to make those green what we can do with this here we can put an indent in there so we can go for maybe a uh, one centimeter indent on that there then to make this look better as well we want to put an indent into this one here too so let's go for a 1.5 centimeter indent on that one there so our uh, content is looking rather nice now we've got uh, the chapters in the same colors we've got the chapters on the actual pages we've got red in this one here and we've got the green for the subheaders so let's go to our file and export again to um, EPUB and again we're going to do it as a uh, reflowable let's call this uh, test book 3 and still going to use the table of contents of this one here and we're going to click on next now if we're going to test book 3 open her up and as you can see our table of contents is looking rather nice here isn't it you only get two levels of of contents in there it doesn't change so which is why maybe you want to put in this uh, uh, page with contents so we go back to the page of contents which is why you might want to do this here click through to where you want to go to and it is even possible to put tables of contents in per chapter but we're not going to do that today we're going to leave this as it is so you can get started putting a book together in pages and sending it out to epub so you can put the EPUB book into iTunes Connect and do it that way. Or you can get into iTunes Direct directly from the Pages application. Okay, like so this. this is Dave Allen for Good and Kiki. And we've gone into a bit more depth with doing uh, tables of contents and setting up sections in Pages for creating books. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.